welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an ASOS unboxing, haul and try on. I always find it such a struggle to say them three things. This is what I'm going to be showing you. There's a pair of jeans I've wanted for such a long time and I can't wait to see what they're really like. So, let's get into it. I'm going to start with what I just mentioned and it's the jeans. These are the carrot style jeans on ASOS. ASOS jeans I love and they last such a long time and they normally fit really well. I can get normal sized or I can go for petite, I just change what size I normally go for. But these, I like the colour but looking at them, they look really short. I did get them in petite but they just look really short and it's so straight legged that they have no shape to them whatsoever by the looks of things. They looked like they were rolled up a lot more on the website. I'll put a photo so you can actually see what the website shows you compared to what you actually get. So they did look more rolled up and you can't actually roll them up more yourself because they're sewn, which I also didn't realise, so that's a shame. Looking at them from here, I don't think they're going to suit me. When I put them on, they were a big no-no until I put the heels on with them, then they grew on me. So. They definitely have to be worn with heels. They're not very flattering. I mean, obviously they're really, really straight leg, um, so they don't do much to your figure, so you'd have to be careful what you wore on top. But I really, really like the colour wash on them. They're like that Levi denim colour. And the turn-up I do like. It didn't look very turned up when I was showing them to you at first, but now they're on, they're kind of perfect. They just cover my ankle. It's really see-through. So I'm not sure what I would wear underneath it. Perhaps like a nude, I've got a really nice Mason Leberger bra, maybe that. But it might not be as see-through as what it looks like here. It's got these two pockets, which are real pockets. That's always a bonus. So this is the ASOS pyjama blouse in sheer stripe and it was £34. And I really like it, like it's kind of formal, but I think I would wear this for casual drinks. One of those nights when you're not really too sure what to wear, but you don't want to be dressed down and you don't want to be overdressed. This is the kind of thing that I would go for. It's not too sheer. I have gone for like a nude bra underneath. Yeah, I like it. The material feels really, really nice. Um, and I like that the sheer is contrast. This is it. Um, the navy kind of trim gives it that kind of pyjama feel, which is really in at the moment. So this is definitely a keeper for sure. This is just a ribbed white polo neck and I got it to wear with the carrot jeans. I didn't actually realise that it had these flary sleeves which is really nice. It's made me love this item now. And it's quite thick. It's quite thick. It's not see through and, and I love it. I'm going to keep it for sure. I've only just realised I got it in a size 10 but it fits really well and I guess it will last a few more washes as well. So it is ribbed, which is really nice, and then the sleeves are cotton, so completely different material to the whole of the top. Obviously it's not too tight as well, that's probably helped that I got size 10. Um, plain back, really, really like this. Happy that I got this, and I'm even happier that it has these sleeves, I can't believe I didn't notice. And it's also available in black as well. And because I was going away to Portugal, I got two summer bits. First off was this dress. I didn't actually get to take it away with me because it didn't arrive on time. But looking at it, I really like it. So it kind of has a really straight chest part with really cute lace detailing, really thin spaghetti straps. And then towards the bottom, it has more lace detailing. I didn't realize how just how straight it actually was across the back and the front. I'm not sure what this is gonna look like on. And also, I think it depends on how long it is on me that it will suit me because sometimes when it kind of flares or has peplum at the bottom, it doesn't really suit me. But. So the dress is actually from First and I, which is a brand sold on ASOS. I've not actually heard of it before. I really do like the shape of the dress towards the bottom. I like the detailing it has here. Really, really like that. And I like that it's gathered it has like a gathered hem, which gives you this kind of ruffle effect. I think it's really, really pretty. The only downfall to this dress is how straight it is across the front. I just, 
I feel kind of uncomfortable. I'm not sure why, but I just don't think it's very flattering, even though it's got this lace detail. But I do really like the spaghetti straps on it. And to go with the dress, I got some grey sandals from ASOS. I went down a size, I actually got them in a size 3 because they wasn't available in my normal 4. But on the website, they looked really fluffy and they just kind of look really flat. Where they've been packaged, they look just flat. And I don't think they're going to look very flattering when they're on. I'm not sure how I could ruffle them up a little bit. I don't think it's going to work. It has these cute tie around your ankles with cute little tassels. I thought they'd be really nice to take on holiday. I did get the shoes to go with this dress. The shoes are Asos own brand, but I'm really disappointed in them. They looked really good on the website, but for me they just look really lifeless and they're quite hard to walk in, so I think I would struggle to keep them on my feet, even though I went down a size. But the colour's really nice and I like the tassel detail on the back and the way that they wrap up around your leg but apart from that I don't think I would have worn this as an outfit like I had intended to. These I really love. So I got these for fashion week and these were another item that arrived late. I got them in a pink because fashion week I like to step out of my comfort zone. These look so girly. They have a simple block heel which is perfect height for daytime and they're kind of square at the front which I really really like. I can't wait to try these on and I can't wait to wear these. They're really really cute. Obviously they're not suitable for winter weather here but they would look so nice with just a denim skirt and a white t-shirt. Just a little statement shoe to really make an outfit pop. And my favourite part of all is the way that they wrap around your ankle like this. And if you're not brave enough to go pink, they are also available in black. I'm not sure when I will wear these, but hey, I've got myself some pink shoes now. The sun is now beaming through, so I'm running out of time to fill. This next one, I actually forgot that I had ordered as well. It was another fashion week item, and I wanted to wear it on top. So I wanted to layer it on top of the long sleeve polo neck that I just showed you. Velvet crushed peplum top, which I'm not really sure suits me very well. It looks really, really pretty. I love the colour. It has like a deep V, really thin straps and a pearl little button at the back. This is one of them items where I'll have to see what it's like when it's on before I make a decision. I think it's a grower, but I'm just not sure what I would wear with it. I mean, personally the black jeans that I've got it with now, it just doesn't go because this is quite dressy uppy and the jeans are quite casual. I'd probably wear it with some peg leg trousers. I did get it in a size 6, but I'm not sure why because it's quite tight. I should have got an 8. Wishful thinking. So it's really hard because sometimes I find that cami tops, when I get an 8, they're too loose on my chest. Um, in this case, I guess it's because of the fabric, it's quite tight, so I would definitely go for your normal size. It's got this cute little pearl button at the back, quite revealing, so I wouldn't wear this to like a dinner, I would wear it more on a night out perhaps. I love the fabric, it feels really really nice, and I like the way that it just flows, it's really cute. It's not normally something I would go for, like, I don't normally go for peplum style things, but this was an exception. So that is everything in this ASOS haul. I would love to know what your favourite item is and I would love to know what kind of videos you'd like to see on my channel. So apart from that, if you haven't yet, please go and subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment and say hello and I will see you in my next one. Bye!